In this lecture, we learn about the layers inside Graphic Designer. Graphic Designer and Windows are made like in layers. So we have 31 layers possible inside WinCC and we can turn on and turn off these layers during the runtime. So if you create some big windows and you need to specify the groups of elements for the elements static text, buttons, IO fields, uh, you can make the different layers for different kind of elements. You can hide layers inside the editor mode, inside the engineering mode, so if we put the static text IO field buttons on the layer 0, as you saw before, I hide the layer 0 and my elements disappeared, so they don't break my screen and I can make the better application. Now I'm copying my elements to make the a lot more in my screen. But you see, I turn off layer 0 and all disappeared. Remember, you can't hide the layer you are using as default and is displaying right the actual layer on the foreground. If you click on the elements, you have the attribute inside properties, you have the layer. As you see, I selected many elements, not only one, I selected many, and my attribute in multiple selection can be done with just one click. You don't need to make the settings for all elements separately. Now you see, I made the layer 1 and 2 as height layer and uh, my elements is displaying on layer 3. Now I turn off layer 3 and turn on layer 2. The same with layer 1 and the same with layer 3. Okay, now I have all layers displaying and my screen is ready. Now when I activate the runtime, I have all layers in editor as turn off, but when I run this runtime, this screen, you see that all my elements is displaying. But if you have the layer with something special, you don't want to display anywhere, so you can make the RT layer hide for these settings, as I showed in tools. Now I hide one layer in settings visible layers tab, and this layer never appear in runtime. But Let's turn off this layer again and display our application. The next tab here is the show and hide layers. When we zoom in and zoom, zoom out our screen. When we have multi-touch screen, we can use the gesture on the windows. So we can make the same like we have in smart smartphones and we can um, zoom and zoom out again so we can display different layers in different kind of zoom this zoom out and zoom in and layers 
can be very handy for big operation for big screens where we have a lot of information and we should should not display all in the same time so we can make all layers in different kind of uh, solutions different kind of timing so operators can zoom this screen and see the height elements after this zooming in anyway the basic about the layers is for you that you can create the visualization configured like layers and you can configure better windows with layers so you can turn on and turn off something to make your work better and simple.